done for the last uh, seven years, and the same as uh, another situation I've been in in my career before. And it's nice to be able to look back and and uh, and see where we've had success in in the women's swimming and diving program, um, and have an idea of how to bring that same kind of success um, to the men's swimming and diving program, and have the two of them really. Uh, feed off of each other and, and make each other better than I think we can be by ourselves. Is there going to be a difference in coaching the, the men's versus the women's, having to, having to do both? There's a difference in coaching every single person who comes through the door, and I, I hope that I never coach two people the same way. Uh, but the men's team's at a different point th than the women, and we've got a different personality as a team, and the, and the women have a, uh, a unique personality as a team. So it's my job right now to really get to know the men and assess where they are. I know where we want to go, and and now we have to create a, a path from from here to there. I think both prog programs have a pretty strong tradition. Maybe talk a little bit about the, about that. Uh, it, both teams have a, a, a really proud tradition and a, a proud individual identity, and and so, and this is new that we'll be together and we can. Um, we can learn from each other. So the, our, our men's team now can look at what the women have done to be successful. Our women's team um, can, can look at the history of the men and, and get to know more about University of Tennessee swimming. And, and, and I think we can all have a, a really a different sense of perspective of where we are in the history of both programs and, and maybe take a little more pride in it too.